In presidential politics, there's no penalty for arriving late. Hillary Clinton pulled up to the home of Mayor John Cranley, picking up about 450 grand in campaign cash and putting Pine Ridge, a residential slice of Hyde Park, onto the campaign map. You know, it's exciting to have it in the neighbor, have her in the neighborhood. Um, it's an historic election. This cell video, courtesy of a neighbor, Nick Slowick, shows her walking in to the applause of onlookers and supporters like Mary Armour. I think it's really exciting. I can get to go to the mayor's house and meet the next president. Among the 250 donors, Stan Chesley, who knows a thing or two about hosting at the presidential campaign level, and Denise Driehaus, who's got her own race going. And as a woman on the ticket, um, I think we are, we are ready for our time in history. I've never seen this in all the years. I've been doing this and I'm an old guy, but she's the best. It was a grand just to get in, 10 grand for a photo op, 33,000 for a VIP reception. Neighbors chuckled about those numbers and Hyde Park's rep as a well-heeled area. There are a surprising number of level-headed, thoughtful people who happen to be Democrats uh, who live in uh, greater Hyde Park. As part of the mayor's anti-poverty collaborative, Sharice Lindsay got to meet Mrs. Clinton. I really wanted Hillary to, to, to you know, really touch a Cincinnatian who is uh, a product of hope. Clinton called her an inspiration. I thought I was going to faint. <laughs> Pine Ridge was both patient and pumped tonight. The neighborhood was a jammed media zone for a few hours. The mayor's seven-year-old son, Joseph, had his own window on presidential politics 2016. Mayor John Cranley called it an honor to host Mrs. Clinton tonight, described her as incredibly gracious, and said that as he sees it, America has a choice be between someone who openly discriminates, a reference to Donald Trump, and someone who wants no barrier to the American dream, referring to Mrs. Clinton. Reporting live in Hyde Park, John London, WWT News 5.